Hey guys, we're here with Joey who got 15th place playing what? Uh, Gohan. Perfect. And you got 15th place at, at the Dallas Regionals? Yep. Can you uh, go through the list for us? Yeah, sure. Let me take you through. Uh, so to start off, I think one of the biggest aspects of Gohan here is this Chi Chi. Gotcha. So this Chi Chi, what she does is she lets you search out some of your three drop ramp. She lets you search out some of the, sec the board wipe secret rares, some of the double strike Gohans. So she's really versatile. She hits a lot of cards in this list and I think she's integral to making Gohan work. Nice, nice. Uh, moving on, we go, we run we do run a few cantrips here. Two of the Sun Gokus also gets hit by that Chi Chi there, uh, and one of the searchers, uh, the Sun Gohan, uh, for when you need to search a little less, you don't want to go for a Chi Chi, but instead looking for some of your ramp as well. Nice, have some good options. Yeah, a lot of versatility with Gohan, I think, is really good. Uh, moving on, we do run a couple Kamis. Uh, this is good in the in the yellow matchup especially to slow Raccoon down, uh, give yourself a little bit more time. Uh, moving right along, we got. Uh, Four meteors. I do think extras are a big part of Green's game plan, and I do not think that has changed. So I think four meteors is definitely what you're going to be wanting to run. Moving on, I do think some of the underrated cards for extras are this Earth Destroying Blow. This Earth Destroying Blow, I will always stand by. It lets you ramp on some turns when it's slow. Otherwise, especially with Gohan, if you want to play for two, take that card. If it's a five, a zero, you can charge it, and that turns into 15k combo on his activate battle. Nice. So I really do think these Earth Destroying are super versatile. They're really good, and they've definitely helped me in the matchups. So moving right along, I do run two of the new Gohan Seeker Rares. I think this is a good pre pressure tool early, uh, especially into blue. If you see a lot of Adele's stuff they're swarming the board with, it lets you kind of swing in for free. And then if they do end up sticking, you can kind of accelerate your ramp a decent bit and force them to remove this threat before it gets to the eight energy and you start swinging 40k on lead. Nice. Moving right along, I do run one of the Android 18s. You know, in the matchups where you need the cycle and you need the more draw, it's good. In other matchups, it's just the 5k. Uh, moving along, I do run two Cell Juniors. Like I said, with those Earth Destroying and Meteors, green is all about the extras, so I think being able to grab these from drop are important, and it's also a 10k if you don't end up using it. Moving along, I do run two Destructive Strengths. I know, you know, it kind of depends from player to player. I do like seeing two of these along with the four of the Gokus. Um, I think six three drop ramps is just about enough for this Gohan list to consistently see it early on and hit it. And then, you know, having that extra energy if you have a cantrip or otherwise ramping one of the opponent's cards, that's integral to Gohan's play. And I also think gives him a really good matchup into Jiren versus some of the other green colors. Nice, nice. So moving right along, I do run a couple Vegetas uh, on turns where you got the energy marker. So you're ramping on three with energy marker. This is a good option for playing, still ramping. And then especially in the blue, if you want to remove their Videl or some of their early cost uh, board, it helps you control so you can make it towards that late game. Moving along, I do run one of the Selkus. Uh, I, do, I don't think he's as important now. I think you could definitely cut him if you need to, um, but especially into the Gohan Mirror, I think it helps you keep your energy a little bit more high. So I do think it's worth running one. And like I said earlier, you do hit it off Chi Chi. So it's another, it's another hit card there. Nice. Uh, moving along, I think the key to Green Gohan as well is this five drop Future Gohan. This is a great removal tool. Uh, it lets you, you know, KO on board while swinging 30 and not losing any tempo. Uh, so against matchups that go really fast, I think he's super important. And then obviously he's 10K combo. So whenever you don't need him, he's got that combo. Power. Moving along, we get to start some of the upper cost of the list. I do run one of this six drop Gohan. I think he's good. Once again, he can be searched out by Chi Chi again. So in the matchups where you feel like maybe you missed some combo power early and you need to get back up to three life, or if you're down to one, if you feel like they don't have a double strike threat, I think he's important. Uh, he's, also, he's also 5K, so he's not totally useless. Um, but yeah, I do run one just in the matchups where, you know, you feel like you really need it. Next is another underrated card I feel like a lot of people don't talk about, and that's the six drop Goku. He helps a lot with, uh, you know, dealing with early threat being a blocker, and then he can ramp you twice if he does get KO'd. So a lot of times if I'm on, if I'm on three and I, I ramp and I go into my next turn with five mana and an energy marker, I'll play him, get the energy marker back so I have an extra, an extra energy to use for like a meteor or something. And then he also serves as a blocker so you can kind of reduce that pressure so you can get yourself to late game. Moving on to the top end, I do run two of these uh, Double Strike Gohans. I think they're really flexible, having 10k power and being searched by Chi Chi while also allowing you to hit more Double Strike threats. Mm -hmm. um, they are a little worse than the androids, but I do think their searchability and the fact that they're 10k makes up for it. 
Next, I do run two of the six drop amulets. Once again, I think their, their KO on play is really important. Once again, helping with board control and pushing more uh, double strike face. But I do think you only need to run two because you can't stack too many zeros in this deck. Mm -hmm. um, so I think two along with the other double strike Gohan ends up being the perfect fit yeah. this list. I really like that split. Yeah. And then I do run two of the board wipes. I think in black, this is critical to play. Mm -hmm. If you can survive that early onslaught and get to seven, you can wipe your board and start to kind of come back and, mm -hmm. and take those big swing turns. Uh, so I definitely would suggest running two. It could give you a, a chance into the Androids matchup. I do think that is Gohan's worst matchup. So, you know, it's tricky there, but I, I do think running two is definitely pretty important. And once again, can be searched by that Chi Chi. Mm -hmm. Really integral to this deck. And then obviously run your four supers, <laughs> of course, <laughs> like everyone else. And then finally, I do run four Brolies. I think this is super important. Uh, so you can see, you want to be really consistent with your eight drop threats. Uh, if you if you don't need it, obviously you can charge or you can discard with your secret rare. But I do think that four Brolies is a good top end for this deck, especially playing very control and wanting to go late. Nice. Is there anything you change about this list? Uh, I think you could definitely maybe slot in a cell here and there. Uh, if you wanted, if you wanted to put that five drop Gohan that KOs a four, that's another option too. But I'm pretty satisfied with the list. I think it offers a lot of versatilities and gives you some, you know, a good edge into some of your trickier matchups. Nice. Well, wrapping it up. Do you have any shout outs before we let you go? Uh, just shout out to my boys in Arizona. It was great going along with all you guys, and I had a blast at Dallas. Catch you later. See ya. Peace.